Mr. Singer, thank you for accepting to speak for News 24 Television today. It's a great pleasure to have you here. Great pleasure to be here, Laura, and thank you very much for having me. Mr. Singer, what is the purpose of your visit to Albania? Now, the main purpose is really to come and say thank you. Uh, thank you for everything that connects our people, the Jewish people and the Albanian people together during different periods of time, especially during the Second World War. But also now, we, about a year and a half ago, we had a, a very famous Balkans Forum that was organized by the Albanian parliament and uh, dealt with the issues uh, of fighting anti-Semitism. And uh, it was a fantastic event that reached out to some 30 million people. And uh, I'm very happy that the way it was uh, handled and the main reason is really to come to say thank you to people that were involved. Sir, you are the chairman for the Center for Jewish Impact. Can you tell us a little uh, more about this center? The Center for Jewish Impact uh, was established uh, over a year ago and it serves as a focal point for the uh, international organizations, diplomatic missions that are based in Israel, uh, different international organizations, United Nations and uh, the others in their relations with the Israeli civil society. So they're having uh, many events that are focusing on diplomatic uh, community and diplomatic relations. And uh, I'm very glad to, to say that your ambassador in Israel, uh, who is doing a fantastic job there, is a very central part of these activities and is visiting center on a frequent basis. How does this center promote diplomatic and cultural exchanges between Israel and Albania? The center will start promoting this kind of relations and uh, this is one of the parts, uh, one of the goals of uh, my visit uh, to, to your country. We have, in, I would say Albania has an outstanding ambassador at large uh, to the worldwide Jewish community, Valentina Leskai, who is uh, really representing Albania in all the international forums uh, in the combat anti-Semitism movement and in other uh, aspects. And through this, we are going to develop different kinds of relations. During this visit, I already met with the Minister of Education, with the Deputy Mayor of uh, Tirana, with the Minister of Youth. We're having uh, tomorrow meetings uh, with the President of the uh, University of Tirana University and the people, who, uh, the CEO of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and uh, some others. And I think that all these meetings will start uh, uh, putting the ground for the future relations. You said that your mission is to bring our countries closer together. How are you planning to bring this mission to life? I think it's not only to bring the countries together, I think it's mainly to bring people together and closer uh, to, you, to each other. We just discussed with the Minister of Education different programs that we can do together, both in the field of uh, special education, but also in the field of uh, special studies for gifted uh, children. We spoke about delegations and missions of exchanging uh, experience in different fields. Uh, you are a very unique uh, country in your educational system. You just introduced to your curriculum the uh, special uh, lessons of teaching uh, the Jewish history and teaching the Holocaust and what happened during the Holocaust in this region. And I think all these uh, things together will bring uh, to many positive developments. I also want to say that, uh, uh, like I said uh, to, to the minister, you know, I was traveling uh, all my life and I visited, I think, most of the countries uh, in the world. So sometimes you uh, really see a beautiful country and sometimes you see that the country is not so beautiful, but the people are beautiful. I think that Albania is very unique because you, are, you both have the beautiful country and the beautiful people here. And I think it will be very attractive to many Israelis and to many Jews around the world. And I hope that many of them following this visit will come also to visit Albania. Albania not only protected the Jewish community during World War II, but also those seeking refugee during the war. We are proud that our country stands out as an example of support. On 2020, Albania formally adopted the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance definition of anti-Semitism, making it the first Muslim majority country to accept the formulation and promise to fight anti-Jewish produce. What are your thoughts on this historic decision? Now, first of all, the, the first thing that comes uh, to mind is really to say thank you. It wasn't uh, an easy step. It required a serious leadership from your parliament. Uh, the head of the, the parliamentarian that led 
this effort uh, was uh, Mr. Bala, who really uh, was the force behind the, uh, behind this uh, this initiative, and we appreciate it very much. Not only this, but we appreciate also that it's not only a declaration, but uh, practical steps followed. So uh, it's not only the parliament now that adopted the IRA definition, but also the Academy of Science of Albania, the University of uh, Tirana, the city of Tirana, and from what I hear now, uh, also additional universities and additional cities uh, will continue uh, in this uh, direction. I think it will have an effect on all Balkans region and the others will take an example from this. But I also want to hope that it will uh, expand to beyond uh, the Balkans and uh, uh, will help both Albania and uh, the Jewish people in, uh, in this fight. Mr. Singer, thank you very much for this interview. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much and thank you very much for having me and I enjoy every minute in your country.